In this video, I'm gonna talk about another big blockchain trend that you need to know about. And I haven't covered this yet on my channel, so you wanna watch this video. We've seen an explosion of new projects in this area. People are talking about it everywhere on Twitter, Telegram, like anywhere that's really talking about blockchain, you know, this is coming up a lot. So I wanted to make this video to tell you about it and give you my thoughts on it as a blockchain developer. Because this space is constantly changing and I wanna keep you all two steps ahead of the herd. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so what is this big blockchain trend that everybody's talking about? Well, it's non-fungible tokens or NFTs. And I recently did a video on my channel with the one and only Anthony Sassano where he talked about the next big trends in blockchain. And this was one of the main topics that came up. So I want to do a follow-up video today to go over this topic in depth. I'm going to talk about what NFTs are, you know, why you should care about them, some NFT projects that you need to watch out for, and how to even create your own NFT project. So let's start with what are NFTs, all right? And so if you've been around blockchain, you might have heard about these before because it's a topic that's actually been around for a long time. They first showed up in the big ICO boom of 2017, but they're just now getting a big surge of popularity again. So NFTs are non-fungible tokens or unique tokens. So these are tokens that represent things besides money. So if you think about most of the tokens you're familiar with, like ERC-20 tokens, for example, they act as a money. So like the DAI token, for example, all the DAI tokens are the same. That's how money works. You can swap any DAI token for another DAI token. It's worth the exact same thing. That's what fungible is. But non-fungible means that not all the tokens are necessarily equal. And because these tokens can represent unique objects, some tokens might be worth more than others. So that's different from cryptocurrency where all the tokens are worth the same. You might have, you know, one NFT that's worth more than another one, which allows people to speculate on the price of individual tokens. And that's probably one of the main things that's driving the NFT craze right now. So we saw this back in 2017 during the ICO boom when CryptoKitties came out. This was one of the first NFT projects that got really popular because people were speculating on the value of these collectible cats. They're thinking, you know, if I buy a super rare CryptoKitty, I can sell it at a profit later someday. So we're seeing a similar hype cycle right now in the NFT space. And we're also seeing this hype translate over into regular tokens that are backing NFT projects. So Meme is an example of a token that can be used to purchase NFTs on their platform. And Meme was airdropped to people for free and is now trading at $1,500. So if you'd gotten in on the Meme airdrop, then you'd be doing pretty well right now. And so another big reason that I think I think NFTs are so hot right now is because people are saying that they have use cases beyond just collectible items. There are so many different industries that can potentially use NFTs like finance, web, gaming, software, and a whole lot more. So let's talk about some of those use cases. So there's lots of them. You know, of course, we talked about collectibles. There's gaming. So people think blockchain gaming could see a lot of adoption really soon. You know, digital art, insurance contracts, domain names, software licenses, and a whole lot more. So there's a lot of really legitimate use cases beyond just like digital collectibles. And so let's take a look at some of these use cases in action. Let's look at some real world projects that are using NFTs right now that you should watch out for. So one example is ENS. So this is Ethereum name service. This is basically where you can uh, take your Ethereum address and get a human readable name. So it's like a domain name for your Ethereum wallet. So ENS uses NFTs to manage the privilege to that domain name for your ETH wallet. And that's a similar model that we could use for any decentralized naming service, like for D-Web, for example. I'll probably make some videos about that in the future, so make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, to catch those videos when they come out. So another project is Rarible, and this is a really hot one that people are talking about because you can create and sell digital collectibles yourself on the blockchain. That They use NFTs to manage this. And they also have their own Rary token that's performed really well, uh, while a lot of the other DeFi projects have been going down. So another hot project is Meme, which I talked about earlier. So this matches up the DeFi yield farming trend with NFTs. You can actually farm limited edition NFTs. And Meme is another token that's really outperformed a lot of the DeFi projects in the past few weeks. And so these are just some examples of really hot NFT projects in the space right now. But I'll give you a quick blow by blow of several other projects you should watch out for. There's Axie Infinity, Ave Gachi, Unisox, Block Party, Maker's Place, OpenSea, and Nifty Gateway. And of course, it's not a comprehensive list and it's not financial advice for you to like invest in any of these projects. But if you're interested in the NFT space, then I would definitely familiarize yourself with those projects. So now I'll talk about my thoughts on the NFT space. 
So I want to take a look at what other people are saying and kind of respond to it. And so this is the meme that's been floating around Twitter, uh, where the low IQ take is basically like NFTs will change the world. The high IQ take is it's a trend that will be very profitable. And the middle is like, I don't see why NFTs even matter. Like this is stupid. Some people are saying that DeFi to NFT was the fastest narrative shift they've ever seen in crypto. Some are saying NFTs are currently overrated. They're nothing but speculation. And some think that NFTs just came and went like that, that it saw an entire market cycle within a day. So what do I think? Is there some speculative hype around NFTs right now? I think there is, but I also think there are some solid use cases that we can test out over the long term. I think they have a solid value proposition and not all the NFT projects are going to succeed. Not all the ideas are going to stick, but I expect that we will see a few of them achieve a good product market fit and that those use cases will take off and that those projects will likely succeed. But if you're an early adopter and you like going down rabbit holes, then this is a rabbit hole that I would personally go down if I were you. Of course, it's not financial advice. There's no guarantees on any returns from any of these projects, but it often does pay to be ahead of the curve on trends like this. And I'll say there's at least one big thing that's holding NFT adoption back, in my opinion, and that's the transaction cost. So it's really expensive to make transactions on the Ethereum blockchain right now. And a lot of people are willing to do this when they're trading tokens because they think they can make a profit. But for NFTs that might be worth a lot less, these transactions are often cost prohibitive. And so some projects are moving the NFT transactions over to side chains or some other layer two scaling solution to reduce these transaction costs. And it does compromise some security, but I think that's okay in these cases because you don't care about the security as much for these smaller value NFTs as you would, you know, hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars of cryptocurrency, for example. All right, so now I want to talk about how to create your own NFT project. So if you want to do this, then you want to create an ERC-721 token. So you might have heard of like an ERC-20 token, like the popular cryptocurrencies out there. That's just a standard that describes how these tokens work. See, ERC-721 is different, and that describes how non-fungible tokens should work. And so I did a tutorial a while back about how you can create your own non-fungible tokens. So you should check that out if you haven't already. But the whole idea is that you need a way to create the non-fungible tokens with a Solidity smart contract, and then you need a way to distribute them. So instead of just coding out the entire token by itself, NFTs are kind of a solved problem, so you can take a template and customize it for yourself. So if you're going to do that, I highly recommend checking out Open Zeppelin. They have an ERC-721 template smart contract that you can use to create your own projects with. That's the one I show you how to do in the tutorial, but really quickly, I'll just tell you more about Open Zeppelin if you haven't uh, used it already. So it is a smart contract library that has a lot of pre-made smart contracts that you can use off the shelf and customize for your own purposes. They're audited and uh, maintained by the community, so it's very likely that they'll be secure. And they'll also save you a lot of time because you don't have to code everything for yourself. So head on over to Open Zeppelin's website to read more about that, and then you can find their contract in their GitHub. Just go to github.com, search for Open Zeppelin, and go to the Open Zeppelin Contracts repository, and you can just go to Contracts and Token and ERC721, and you'll see a number of different contracts ready to go that you can use uh, to create yourself. I'll just click on the ERC721.sol file here, and here's the basic non-fungible token that you can uh, do for your own project. All right, so that's an introduction to NFTs or non-fungible tokens. And again, this is a trend that you need to pay attention to if you care about blockchain at all. Sure, there might be some short-term, you know, speculative hype around this, but I do think there are some solid use cases that will likely play out down the road. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and smash the like button down below to find out about those as soon as they come out because I'm making videos on this stuff and keeping you all up to date. And so if you want to create your own NFT or you know jump on this trend or just get on this big blockchain trend that's continuing to take off and you want to become a blockchain developer, then how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my free courses there. Like Udemy courses, totally, but they're totally free. You know you can check out that NFT course if you want to. I can show you how to create a full stack application that you know uses NFTs, a marketplace where you can buy and sell them. Just go check that out. And if you like that tutorial and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. I can show you to create a real world blockchain application step by step from start to finish so that you can, you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, you know, build your own project. Check out the link down below to sign up today. All right. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.